I'm going to talk today about Vespa scooters as an investment. Now I've shared in other videos that uh, the Vespa scooter is not an investment, it's an expense. And in those videos I was talking specifically about the financial aspects. It is an expense. It costs money to buy, it costs money to own, and it costs money to operate a Vespa scooter. Add to that the premium price, and uh, you've got a uh, a lot of costs involved. So, how can I transform all those costs into an investment? For me, the way that works is the Vespa is an investment in my well-being, my state of mind, and my experience of life. Simply put, Vespa scooter is an investment in my life. So you might say, yeah, that sounds great, but uh, how does that actually work? For me, it works on three levels. Friendship, adventure, and fun. So let me attempt to explain how that works. Friendship is an important aspect of anyone's life. Living in isolation isn't healthy for humans. At least that's what I believe. When I got my Vespa scooter, I wasn't looking for friends. But, lo and behold, I found them. You know, it's easy to say, you know, my friends are my family and my colleagues at work. But you don't really get to choose them. You're sort of stuck with what you get. But with the Vespa, I made connections with people with similar interests. They like to ride. They like to go places. I found people, you know, at first the to ride with or have breakfast with. After a while, those, those acquaintances, many of them became friends. And for me, if you ask, well, how do you define a friend? A friend for me is someone I could call from the police station at two in the morning to come bail me out. So everyone has to think about how many friends do you actually have? The riding of Vespa has put me in touch with so many people. For someone like me, who's basically a loner, it's a pretty big deal. And it's definitely been an investment in my well-being, in my state of mind. It's a beautiful day out, my goodness heading to breakfast at the meandering Mallard in Milheim, Pennsylvania with my friend Paul. I'm on the GTS and he's uh, riding his Vespa Primavera, which is a 150 scooter. And these scooters are perfect for this kind of countryside roads and I've ridden over 15 years on my Vespa scooters and this kind of stuff and you can go on and on all day I 
we've had several days of rain and that rain has taken a rather green landscape to begin with and it's just completely energized it everything's green everything's growing so fortunate to live where I do. Just all these winding back roads that are enjoyable to ride and they, uh, they crisscross pretty much all the areas in between the main arteries. So if you're not in a hurry, you want to see the scenery, they're a great option. The other aspects of Vespa as an investment is adventure. I never anticipated how many places my Vespa, Vespa scooter would take me, how many sights I would see, how many new things I would experience. It's amazing how this little machine can transport me through the landscape to just so many destinations, so many visual experiences. It's just an amazing, an amazing uh, outcome that again, I was not looking for. And my adventures can be anything from a, a ride to breakfast like today to, you know, day-long trips across the state to day-long trips camping overnight another day after that uh, the only limitation that the Vespa offers is what I concoct in my head but uh, man I can say this is just been a wonderful investment for me because before I had this Vespa I had few adventures it had been decades since I was doing the kinds of things that I do now all the time with the Vespa well worth the price in my opinion Good job, Papa. You stay there. <laughs> and the last thing is fun. That was why I bought the Vespa to begin with. It was so much fun first time I got on it and I hadn't ridden in 20, 25 years, I can't remember exactly how many, uh, it just reminded me of those times when I was a kid when I first got on a mini bike and just found that I had that throttle in my hand and I could propel myself through the world and I had planned to buy a Triumph Bonneville and my friend Paul had a Vespa scooter. The scooter, the ET4 I now own, he had just bought it. And he said, well, before you buy a motorcycle, maybe you ought to go out on the road and uh, see if you really like it before you spend the money. And I was like, yeah, that made sense. And I thought he was gonna let me ride his Harley or one of his motorcycles, but he gave me the keys to the Vespa. 
and uh, I got on it and was riding through State College and I wasn't a mile down the road till I was like, oh my god, this is so much fun. It was thrilling and uh, it's an experience I still have every time I get on the scooter. And I decided right then I wanted a Vespa. My uh, thoughts of a Triumph motorcycle just evaporated. But one of the things that makes the Vespa so much fun is it's so nimble. I mean, you can just, you know, do all kinds of things that on a motorcycle aren't as easy to do. This, you can zip around in town, out of town. Every ride is fun. So, if you're thinking of uh, a Vespa is just too expensive, not an investment, I'll just caution you to say you need to consider the bigger picture. For me, the Vespa has been an investment in life. And when this one goes, I will get another one. The money, yeah, it's steep, but the rewards I've gotten in terms of my mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being make it a tremendous investment. familiar territory now. This is one of the go-to breakfast spots for us. Seems we always have a parking space out front. I don't know how that's possible. So I see a car with this turn signal on. Good, they're not taking our space. Here we go. Park right out front. Ugh. Here we are, the meandering mallard. Pretty nice day for a ride. What's that? Nice day for a ride. Yeah. Granola with hot milk and coffee. Granola with hot milk. Is that okay? I would like uh, egg, cheese, and bacon on Asiago bagel. Okay, what kind of cheese would you like? We have Cooper, provolone, and Swiss. Cooper. Okay, good choice. And I'd like a small Earl Grey tea if you have. Yes. Okay. Or some black tea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, book by Thich Nhat Hanh about work, it's really about work. It's about uh, working in uh, companies and how to handle conflict. It's neat.
forgot to uh, photograph the food again. I don't know what it is. I got some of the cookie left. That's granola and hot milk. Yeah. So, anyway, it's been. Uh, Yeah, you too, thanks. Oh, beautiful machines. So, summing up, I'd like to say that I consider the Vespa scooter an investment. Not financially, but uh, because of what it delivers in terms of friendship, adventure, and fun. So keep that in mind when you're considering purchase of a new Vespa scooter. So that will wrap up this episode of Scooter in the Sticks. Until next time, be well and ride safe.